Okay, this is uh, the Talos Principle. Uh, you are take the role of some sort of being. There is a voice which uh, talks to you or in your head and there are many puzzles to solve. So there is a plot. These these uh, QR codes are sort of relevant to the plot. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what it is yet but uh, it's definitely to do with intelligence and uh, what makes you a person and, and things like that so you'll see uh, towards the top left of the screen I've got a number of items there uh, the yellow hexagonal thing I've got three of the five and it looks like this yellow thing might be one of the bits. Or it might be something else altogether. So I'm going to attempt to solve the puzzle. I did just spend um, like half an hour trying to solve another puzzle in this area. And not getting very far. Which, um, which indicates that... It's all maybe a bit beyond me. Alright, so, there's a splitter there. How can I get to the splitter? Over here is the power source. And here is splitter number one. Oh, the connector, sorry, not splitter. So we have to... Right. So we have to be able to see that and that. And if I don't stand in the way, we can. So pairing that up gets me in here. And here is a split up. There's my goal. So... I'm in. So that's that one done. Oh, there's a ladder. Shall we go up and have a look? Interesting. So I can escape that bit without the thing being open, which is interesting. So let's go and put that outside. Just leave it there, shall we? So the question is, can I escape this bit while carrying the the Hooji what's it? Can't climb while carrying an item. Okay. Interesting. But I could trap myself in, theoretically. So, there's another splitter. There's a window. a window. Is that the window I'm bit in? Yes it is. So what can you see through that window? Nothing much. So that's a window of interest. Uh, right, so this is just 
let me talk in general terms this is just one of the uh, general types of puzzle it's the uh, get everything aligned type um, puzzle I wonder if that's the answer Can, oh, tree. Can I see? The connector. Alright, so that doesn't work. Seems like that's the only option there. So then, what can I see that through? Back up. It's going to be here, isn't it? Now let's have a look. See this room. I need to back that up slightly. Promising. Let's see it. We're in. Boom. And it is one of the puzzle bits. So that's nice. And I need to figure out how to get out again. There we go. Connectors. Where's my way out? Oh, totally, there it is. So that's that's an example of puzzles. There's a. Uh, I can uh, briefly show you one I've solved already. Um, it's just interesting because you'll see there are. Um, uh, moving mines, and if you get too close to the mines, there you go, they blow you up. Uh, so, some of the puzzles involve involve you working around the mines. There's also turrets, although you can't see them now, uh, which you can also jam. 
now and while I'm here there is a paint bucket so we can take the paint and we can make our mark let's select a message the certification program is a sham what does a computer know about humanity Yes, let's go for uh, Travel to the Edge of the Known World. There we go. And then what happens is... Someone else can reply to it. Winter Mute version 99. So, I think the interesting thing about the uh, having the versions implies that there have been 98 previous versions of me. Let's uh, look at the computer. Yes. Oh, sorry, I'm typing. Display reply, there we go. Ah! Now, what's going to happen if I delete my existing user account and then create a new admin account? Delete user account, create your admin account, email the network administrator. Mm -hmm. Let's email the network administrator. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So, delete user account. Create new admin account. Ah, so a certification process again. So that's the certification program that is a sham. There is a various text read. I just want to understand all of this stuff is optional. You can just uh, solve the puzzles if you want. Um, I like to read the text though. It's, um, right, but why do the gods put all these challenges before us? Why is the road to Arrow is so difficult? Some say that once the paths to Arrow were open, but too many sinners came. But the gods made the path perilous to keep the sin at bay. <coughs> so this is obviously um, Egyptian mythology we're discussing. Which is nice because I'm in the Egyptian uh, Egyptian world. Mm. Let's have a look at the choice of lice text. So these this text they have the air of recovered documents or stored in a you know a corrupt uh, memory uh, type deal. As if this this god, or perhaps this computer, has been here for a long time. So some of these seem to be progress reports in in building a massive artificial intelligence. Um, which I guess is also part of the plot. Spoilers. So anyway, I've added them to my journal. <coughs> there we go. I'll head back into the uh, the room. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing a bit now. Now, you'll see that this item it looks like a computer terminal will be unlocked when I complete that yellow that yellow uh, collection of items. The other items there down at the uh, bottom bottom left, I've unlocked those items by um, by completing previous puzzles. Now here's a map of my uh, this puzzle domain. This is like the Egyptian one. We can head back into the lift. 
and go back up. Yes. So at this point, you might be wondering, where did the sunshine come from? An Egyptian one, then, if it's so far underground. And that's probably a valid question. But not everything is answered. This is like the central um, staging area. There's another computer there, we'll not bother talking to it. And you'll see I'm in building B, because I've unlocked it. Building A is the uh, starting building, which is uh, ruins, a bit like a bit like that original original uh, um, test. The tower, I guess, is a central plot device. Um, I'll not give it away. I've given away enough already. You see here, building C is that green thing, which I've got two of the six to get in. And another computer to talk to. They all look suspiciously like Apple IIs, these computers. So that's it. Uh, it really is a fun game if you're into a puzzle solving also sometimes frustrating there is a plot but it's not it's not thrust upon you if you see what I mean it's you can sort of take it or leave it and just do the puzzles and that's that's a perfectly valid way of approaching the game I'm quite enjoying the, the sort of gradual discovery uh, talking to the computer and, uh, and finding these texts and uh, trying to piece together what happened to leave the world like it is. There you go, so this is the original area. Uh, let's see, I've got all of those. There are mysteries in my garden. Mm -hmm. Hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Interesting. And I've got two of those signals, I see. And that's boarded up. So we don't know if that gets open later in the game. There's some I've not done yet. Let's just nip in here so you can get a different a different bit of scenery. You can see the areas look look uh, quite distinct. This is more a sort of um, Victorian industrial sort of look. Uh, yes, so this is a really good, really fun game. There's quite a lot to it. Uh, this is why it's been quite a long video. Uh, not just the puzzle solving, but the uh, the discovery and the plot and. Uh, the way you unlock parts of the game by solving previous puzzles and stuff like that. So it's a Steam daily deal, two thirds off at the minute, so you can have it for a tenner if you purchase it by six o'clock on uh, Thursday evening. And I recommend you consider it, it's pretty good.